Several days ago, I visited an orthopedic hospital. I had been asked to speak to you about the current campaign against infantile paralysis. And I wanted some first-hand information. After this short visit, I now speak with just a little authority, but with a tremendous amount of respect. The story of what I saw is not to be told in words. It is told, rather, in the eager faces of these youngsters whose broken lives you are helping to repair. Faces such as this little girl, whose tiny arms will again soon be able to fondle a doll. Or this little boy, whose legs someday will be able to pedal a bicycle down a country road. The National Infantile Paralysis Foundation has 1,000 chapters throughout the country, giving back to thousands of hapless children not only their limbs, but their hearts and hopes as well. This work is costly, and there were 10,000 new cases last year. But we can't let dollars deny us a spirit like that of this young lad. Infantile paralysis strikes swiftly, without warning, whether parents can afford it or not. It is ruthless and cannot be appeased. You can help again this year, either by the use of the coin box in the lobby of this theater, or by joining the March of Dimes and sending your dimes directly to the White House in Washington. Whatever you give, no matter how little, it will help. Thank you. <laughs>